Welcome back everybody to this lesson. In the previous lesson we saw how to uh, make the player glide with the coins and how to detect that collision. In this lesson we want to make some more enhancement on the game. So we need to increase the number of boxes and also we need to increase the number of coins and we need to add the movement to the world of this game so let's do all that uh, first thing we got the ground here so I'm just go to the scene and we got three boxes I need to add more boxes here so I'm just gonna duplicate them and move them a little bit to the left also I need to duplicate the number of coins so just want to make another coin here and duplicate also make another coin here duplicate make another coin and I need also to select all this boxes all these boxes and duplicate them so in order to have more space alright I need to play with a little bit with the boxes so we can take this box move it a little bit to the top and so forth and you can select one of these boxes and remove it from the game and I need to make we got the ground here I need to make coins container so create game object let me just name it coins it's gonna be coins enter select the, all the coins that we have and put them inside coins alright so we got all the coins I need to move this a little bit duplicate this move it a little bit to the left Okay, something like that, that's perfect, and so forth. Alright, so right now I can run the game. I can collide this, but nothing moves. So we need to add the movement to the game. So basically, what we want to move, we want to move the ground and the coins. So, first thing I'm just going to create another game object. I'm just gonna name it world I'm just gonna drag the coins in the ground to the world game object alright and also I need to add the movement to the world so how we can make it first thing you just go to animation we go to animation you can create record an animation so by clicking on the record button here when you click on the record it's gonna give you this save screen so I'm just gonna go here and say this is the world animation alright so in order to begin with the animation we need to make the first frame so you can go to the first frame by selecting any of these tags I just want to start from this position so in order to make the first frame you have to give it a position so I'm just gonna get started a little bit from this position so I move it a little bit to the left so because I move it a little bit to the left I get the first animation keyframe all right I need to move this world to the this position so how we can make it we can make it a little bit by selecting this location the time frame and going back to the scene I need to move this world all the way to the left until I reach this point alright so if I go back to the animation I can see I just created 
I just created an animation. So I start from this location all the way the worlds move to this location. You can play it and you can see how it looks. Perfect. You can control the position a little bit. For example, I want to move to the fifth second here. You can increase the speed of the animation. And that is perfect. That is really perfect. So we got the ground. We got the, all the boxes here. And we got also the coins and they are triggered. Alright, so right now, if I end the animation, click the animation button and play the game. Run play. You can see I take the coins, but we got a problem. When we jump, see here, when we jump, we got a, a jumping angle. So I need to get rid of this. How? I just go to the player and we have here for the rigid body we have fixed angle. So I'm just gonna select fixed angle from here and click play. Notice here when I jump I have a steady let me just back it I have a steady whoa 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 I jumped a lot <laughs> so each time Whoa, whoa, you can see here. Keep going, keep going, and so forth. I jumped, jumped here, jumped here. And we got the loop again for this animation. It's always looping, always looping until we end. So. You can see here. You can go to the scene. You can see I went all the way down. I didn't find myself. And so forth. This is awesome, guys. So we got the animation for the world. The world is moving and everything is all right. But not sure when I, when I lose. Nothing happened. I keep repeating, keep repeating, even if I lose. I want to say, when I lose, I went down these boxes. I want to reset the game. So how could we do that? In order to do that, we have to do something called dead zones. So we need to add specific colliders that are triggered when I pass over them. So how we achieve that? Basically, we need to do the following. I'm just gonna finish with the animation here and I'm just gonna select a new game object here, create empty. I'm just gonna name it Dead Zoom and click enter. Dead Zoom, this is my Dead Zoom. I need to add a collider to it is box 2d collider and increase the size of the collider a little bit so you can increase the size by going to the size here increase the collider a little bit something like that so I can move it to the little bit to the down something like that and the same thing for we need a collider at the bottom here and also we need another collider at the top we want to make sure that the player not going above the game or below the game. I need to also to add a specific tag to these two dead zones by selecting them both, clicking shift on the keyboard, add tag. I'm just going to name as dead zone as this. Back again, choose and select dead zone. Uh, I need back to the code right now and save the scene and go to the code here we got an else if statement here and let me just 
comment this one and keep this one. I want to say when I hit the dead zone, I just want to reset the game. In order to reset the level, we use application that load level level one. But in order to make this work, we need to add this level, the scene to the to the build settings. So you need to go build settings here drag and drop the level to the build settings here so this is the level number uh, level 0 but we got a name of it which is level 1 so right now when I save the scene try to play the game I want to lose at this point you can see I didn't hit the, the dead zone so we need a little bit to move the dead zones a little bit to the left and increase their size and to the x axis so they're gonna be something like that all right so right now when I play let's here I'm above the dead zone I wanna jump and fall into the dead zone you see I fall into them but they are not triggered so make sure all the time to make this dead zone as trigger because we want to detect them in the code. And in order to detect them in the code, you have to select the is trigger button for the box collider. So run in the run them again. Jump, jump, and we're gonna fall. You can see we got restarted the game. You can see this is the dead zone. This is the dead zone. we want to fall in the dead zone one two you can see we fall down we can just make it a little bit down in order to let you see when I hit the dead zone I just lose so this is my th th the dead zone you can see when I hit it when I hit the dead zone I lose uh, this is pretty much how you can detect in simplest way the, the, the dead zone and how you can restart uh, the game. Alright, in the next video we're we just going to see how to add a finish checkpoint to the game in order to let the player win the game. So we're going to see you in the next lesson. Thank you guys.